Hello, welcome back to Angel's Point of View Cooking Diaries. Today, we're gonna make mint chocolate chip ice cream. Doesn't it sound, uh, doesn't it sound uh, glamorous, but it really is very, very easy. Okay, ingredients you need, I'll, I mean, I will put it in the description and write it up as we go along. You need 600 milligrams of double cream, 300 milligrams of milk and 150 grams of sugar. Obviously you're gonna need a mint flavoring and green food coloring. We will need chocolate chips, a little bag which I have here, but they don't get added in till later. Okay, now really simple this one is. So, I've got to do it all by one hand so I can hold the camera, but. Okay, so get roughly, and it doesn't have to be precise, but roughly half the cream in a little pan, okay? Like that. Oh. Okay. And then in that pan, add in the sugar. Away we go. Stir it for a little while before putting the heat on just to, to get it stirred. Right, let's mix it in. And what this is going to do as we heat it, it's going to dissolve all the sugar properly. Because what happens is if you just mix this up, put it in the freezer like we're going to do without heating it up, the sugar won't dissolve. Then it will go to the bottom of the mixture and it will hinder the freezing process later on. So really, so it's mixed in a little bit. Then just bring it up, put it in. A high heat at first and mix 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 as we're going so just mix it mix it mix it until you see it starts to boil then we're just going to simmer it at a low heat but for now just mix 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 constantly mix and the idea is that we're getting the sugar nicely dissolved within the ice cream okay so while that's heating what I like to do now is add the mint flavoring not a lot just that would do a bit of mint flavoring and to give it a color obviously a bit of green food coloring which I can't open right now Okay, a bit of green food coloring, like that, and then mix, 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 but you need to be mixing. Now look, you can see the sugar's melting and it's separating, so now it's really important that as it's heating, we mix, mix, mix. Now, the green is quite strong at the moment, as you'll see, but in a minute, we're gonna put the rest of the ingredients together and then the green will go lighter. Uh, but yeah, so now mix it, mix it, you can smell the mint already, uh, which is nice. So just get it mixed like this. In the meantime, what I'm gonna do, so I've got 300 milliliters of milk, then I'm just gonna add the rest of the cream in there, like that. And then, actually look, I'm thinking about it. I'm gonna transfer that to a bigger, to a bigger measuring jug simply because I think once we add that it's going to be the once we add the heated uh, sugar and cream it's, it's going to be too thick now what's happened here is the cream is loosened so it's not as thick when it's heated so that's what you're looking for really and then just keep on stirring it and you can see now or I can see there's no separation the the sugar is well and truly let me see how hot it is still needs a bit more heat but the sugar is well and truly incorporated into the cream now so just bring it up to the boil and then that's it okay now 
through trial and error, I've learned that I can apparently, uh, in the most recipe books, it says, cool this down for half hour, then whack it straight in the ice cream maker. I don't agree with that. I, I have found by trial and error that if I, in a second when I mix the mixture all together, I actually put it in the freezer for two to three hours before I put it in the ice cream maker. And the idea for that is that it's really cold before you start to freeze it. And then obviously the freezing process is a lot easier. Now I can feel the heat coming from the, the cream. It doesn't really need to go to the boil. That is dissolved enough, so that's fine. Then simply transfer into the rest of the mixture, like so. As you can see, the green has, as I mentioned, become a nicer green, a much lighter green than the strong green that we had in the sugar. As I see, look, there's a bit of sugar left in there, a bit of liquid, so let's mix it all in. So there you go, that, that is it. That, that's the ice cream mix made. Um, now, as I mentioned, all I'm gonna do now is stick it in the freezer for two to three hours and then come back later on and show you the ice cream maker at work. So there you go, ice cream mix in the freezer. Simple, back to it, just to Give you a quick reminder 600 mils of double cream 300 mils of full fat milk 150 grams of sugar flavoring coloring job done i'll be back in two hours um and then we'll we'll get the ice cream making going okay welcome back here's my ice cream maker that you'll see in a minute that's where the magic happens so now we're getting ready to mix the ice cream itself. Now, the ice cream maker has a base which they recommend that you freeze for eight to 24 hours before you make the ice cream. Personally, I just store it in the freezer. So that means it's constantly freezing. So when it comes to making the ice cream, it's at a really good cold temperature. So really important this next bit um it must 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 be switched on before you start to pour in the ice cream because if it's not what will happen is there you go let's switch it on the ice cream will immediately stick to the outside and then the machine will get stuck so as we discussed earlier on let's have a look she's been in here for just over two hours no nearly three hours nearly three hours not quite now first time i've done this i made a complete mess because i didn't use a funnel but you learn from your mistakes so just pour it in to the ice cream maker it's that simple there you go let's have a look and straight away you can hear the ice cream maker is starting to struggle uh and churn so if we take this off you can see a bit better so what happens now is that will churn for 20 odd minutes half an hour and then at that stage it will be nice and creamy and ice creamy like we'll come back in a few minutes and um, after that we add the chocolate chips with about three or four minutes of churning left because what that does is it mixes it all through nicely okay speak too shortly okay welcome back as you can see now look it's been churning for about oh, 20 minutes or so and it's coming up to a nice creamy consistency so now what we're going to do is bit by bit just add a few chocolate chips and what will happen is it will make the it may make the blades but it's all right, it, 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 will, it will beat its way through it. Now in a minute, what I want to do is, George, who is the uh, main presenter in George's Gaming Diaries, he is the person in this household that loves this ice cream the most. So in a minute, I'm gonna, he's gonna join us and he's gonna give us his honest opinion on 
angel chocolate chip and mint ice cream. There we go, look, as you can see, the chocolate mixing in nicely. Now, if you had put this in the liquid, what would happen is the chocolate would all sink down to the bottom and there wouldn't be a fair distribution of chocolate. Right, one last bit. Oh, maybe a bit too much. And then just let it churn now for a couple of minutes. Okay, so we'll turn the machine off. Um, give me two seconds. George, can you come here, please? George is going to video this bit. Hold the uh, phone for me because what you need to do is just video the machine and what Daddy's doing. Okay, just so we'll open up the machine like this, and what happens is the blade always gets stuck as the ice cream has thickened. So just pull the blade out, little spatula, and just, now you can take this bit, and just wipe, take the ice cream off the blade. As you can see, it's still a, still a bit runny, um, which it will be, but once it goes in the freezer, it will finish freezing, and with the churning from the ice cream maker, it will be a nice, smooth, ice cream now go back to the ice cream maker George what you can see there's the ice cream all I do now is just transfer it into a Tupperware dish of sorts and that's it chocolate chip mint and chocolate chip ice cream oh, lovely uh, what we'll do is in a, in a couple of hours, I would make this about an hour before you serve it, or maybe a bit more, an hour and a half, just to put it in the freezer and just give this ice cream one last firm up, so it's nice and firm. There you go. Let's get the last bits. Okay, now, thank you, George. Now, here it is, the chocolate, um, mint and chocolate chip ice cream. Now for the most important part, as I say, George, he's got his own channel, which is George's Gaming Diaries. He is the person that requested this ice cream because it's his favorite. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna get a little spoon and we're gonna go like that. What you saying, George? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Now look at the camera and ask, tell them about your channel. Uh, we do gaming sorts on there. I still play with Fortnite, Minecraft. So please subscribe to George's Gaming Diaries. And subscribe to this channel also because it would make the world to him. Thank you. So there you go, people. Chocolate chip and mint ice cream now george oh sorry it's chocolate chip and mint ice cream george wants another spoon there you go george help yourself then what i'll do is i'll now just put the lid on this and whack it in the freezer for it to just firm up just that little bit more oh not a lot of space in this freezer okay whack it in the freezer and it will just firm up a little bit more and job done. So, there you have it. Oh, here's George, look. <laughs> Raiding the ice cream maker. There you have it, chocolate chip mint ice cream. I hope you enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed making it. Please like, subscribe, and as I mentioned, any requests, stick a comment in and I will try and help you. Thank you very much.